project for for artists and for creative people. I mean, that book, The War of Art, changed so many people. Let me ask you, Joe, what, uh, wh why did that resonate with you? Well, there was some stuff that he talked about that it was almost like unspoken. And the, one of them is the concept of resistance. And, and that the fact that you treated the muse as if it was a, a, like a real living entity. Like you, Which I think it is. Yeah, well, she is. She is. Whatever it is, uh -huh. that thing where if you show up and you put in the work, creativity just sort of, it sort of gives birth. It, it sort of uh, erupts. It comes out. It, it manifests. It, there's something to it. And, and just uh, I kind of always had this like inkling that that was a thing or this thought that that was a thing. But until I read your book, it was it's like you had you you made it real. You like you 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 just mm. like you laid it out and like here's the problem. This is what's going on, and this is what you got to do. You just got to show up every day and put in the work and be a, a, a damn professional. And so many people that I gave that book to, I used to have a stack of them in my old studio, and I would just hand them to people, uh -huh. like, dude. Just read this. Trust me. And. It wasn't a hard read, you know, it wasn't a giant book, but it was so valuable because it, it just like, I guarantee you, there's so many people, there were so many days where people sat in front of their their computer or a notepad where they wouldn't have because of that book. Mm. Like it got people to where they needed to go. Whether they stayed 